Uh, imagine for a moment, a world where everyone falls asleep for 1,000 years and then wakes up. What would that be like? In this hypothetical scenario, the human race takes an unexpected, elongated nap, only to awaken 10 centuries later. The first sensation would likely be one of profound disorientation. Picture the confusion of waking up from a long nap, now multiply that by a million. The world as we know it would be fundamentally transformed. People would wake up to a world both familiar and alien. The structures of our daily lives, the hustle and bustle of our cities, the rhythm of our societies, all would be replaced by an eerie silence. The skyscrapers that once kissed the heavens might be reduced to skeletal remains, their glass and steel facades eroded by the relentless march of time. Roads, once bustling with traffic, would be worn away, reclaimed by nature and hidden under a blanket of overgrowth. The immediate impacts of such a long sleep would be staggering. Our infrastructure, painstakingly built over centuries, would decay without maintenance. Buildings, bridges, even entire cities might crumble, swallowed by the earth. The ceaseless rhythm of human activity would come to a grinding halt, leaving an echo of a world that once was. But it's not just the physical world that would be impacted. What about our knowledge, our culture, our memories? How much of our collective history would be forgotten in this millennial slumber? And when we woke, how would we go about rediscovering ourselves? Yet, in this desolation and decay, there would also be a sense of rebirth. Nature, long held at bay by human activity, would have a chance to flourish. Forests might sprout in the heart of concrete jungles, rivers might carve new paths, and wildlife might reclaim territories long ago surrendered. As surreal as it may seem, this scenario provides a fascinating framework to explore the future of society, technology, and nature. It allows us to ponder on the fragility of our existence, the resilience of our planet, and the indomitable spirit of humanity to adapt, survive, and thrive. It's a thought experiment that challenges us to envision a world restarted, a world reborn. But what would become of society after a millennium-long sleep? Now, Imagine waking up to a world where the last memory of human interaction was a thousand years ago. The social implications would be enormous. The first hurdle we'd face would be language. Languages are living, evolving entities. They change and morph over the years, adapting to societal changes and technological advancements. Over a thousand years without any human interaction, languages would likely stagnate and become relics of the past. This would create a Tower of Babel situation with people struggling to communicate and understand each other. We'd have to relearn to communicate, perhaps even creating a new language from the ground up. Culture as we know it would face a similar fate. Our cultural norms and practices are shaped by our shared experiences and collective memory. Without these, our cultural identity would be lost, buried under the sands of time. We'd be like newborns without any preconceived notions of what's right or wrong, acceptable or unacceptable. It's an intriguing, albeit daunting, prospect. From this cultural and linguistic void, society would need to rebuild. And here's where it gets tricky. Would we cooperate, pooling our collective knowledge and resources, or would we compete each man for himself, leading to potential conflict? The answer to this question would shape the new world order. The social structures we've come to rely on, government, law, education, would all need to be reestablished. Institutions would need to be built from scratch, and we'd need to figure out how to govern ourselves, maintain order, and educate our populace. It's a mammoth task, but one that's not impossible. In this unfamiliar world, society would need to evolve and adapt, possibly even reinventing itself. It's a scenario that's both exciting and terrifying, but it's also a reminder of our resilience and adaptability as a species. After all, we've faced daunting challenges before and emerged stronger. Who's to say we couldn't do it again? In the wake of such a prolonged slumber, what would be the fate of our technology? This is a question that lingers in our minds as we delve deeper into this hypothetical scenario. Imagine a world where our most advanced technologies lie dormant, gathering dust for a millennium. Our smartphones, computers, satellites, all rendered obsolete by the relentless march of time. Without human intervention, these once cutting-edge inventions would crumble, decay, and ultimately fall into disrepair. The internet, once a vast and bustling hub of information and connection, could be nothing more than a ghost town, its data lost to the ages. But technology is not merely a collection of gadgets and gizmos. It's a testament to human ingenuity, 
a reflection of our drive to understand the world and shape it to our will. And in a world restarted, this drive would not simply vanish. It would awaken, stronger than ever before. With the slate wiped clean, we'd be faced with the daunting task of reinventing and relearning the technological skills that once seemed second nature. From scratch, we'd have to rediscover electricity, relearn the principles of engineering, and reinvent the wheel, quite literally. And yet, in this challenge lies an opportunity. An opportunity for innovation, for exploration, for the creation of something entirely new. Unburdened by the constraints and conventions of our previous world, we could dream bigger, think more radically, and reshape technology in ways we never thought possible. We could learn from the relics of the past, piecing together the technologies of yesterday while imagining the possibilities of tomorrow. Our technological evolution would be a testament to human resilience, a testament to our ability to adapt, innovate, and persevere in the face of adversity. So, in a world restarted, technology would not be lost. Instead, it would be reborn, reshaped by the hands and minds of those who woke up to a new dawn. Technology, once a driving force of our world, would become a relic of the past, a puzzle to be solved anew. With humanity asleep, what would happen to our planet and its diverse ecosystems? Imagine a world where concrete jungles give way to real ones, where skyscrapers are replaced with towering trees, and where traffic jams are instead thundering herds of wildlife. In the first few decades, our cities would start to crumble, succumbing to the unrelenting forces of nature. Without the constant maintenance and repair that they're used to, buildings would begin to deteriorate. The rewilding of urban areas would commence. Concrete would crack and break under the force of growing roots as plants and trees reclaim their ground. Animals, too, would begin to change their patterns. Without human interference, populations of creatures once on the brink of extinction might start to recover. The wolves, bears, and big cats pushed to the edges of their habitats could return to their ancestral homes. And what about the smaller creatures? Insects and small mammals, often overlooked but vital to our ecosystems, would also see drastic changes. With the cessation of pesticide use and destruction of habitats, their populations would likely explode, encouraging a resurgence of the birds, reptiles, and other creatures that feed on them. The climate could also see significant changes. With no new greenhouse gas emissions, global warming might slow or even reverse over time. Forests, growing unchecked, would absorb more carbon dioxide, further cooling the planet. The oceans would also experience a transformation. Without human activity, overfishing would cease, giving marine life a chance to recover. Coral reefs, the rainforests of the sea, could begin to regain their vibrant colors and biodiversity. This world might not be a utopia, though. New challenges would arise. Forest fires, unchecked by human intervention, could rage across continents. Invasive species no longer controlled could upset delicate ecosystems. But even so, the Earth would carry on, adapting and evolving as it has done for billions of years. In our absence, nature would flourish, transform, and reclaim spaces once dominated by humans. This is a humbling reminder that we are just temporary residents on this planet, and that nature, given the chance, can bounce back in extraordinary ways. So, in a world where everyone fell asleep for 1,000 years and then woke up, what might we encounter? Let's revisit the key points. Society after a millennium-long siesta would emerge drastically different. Our languages, traditions, and norms would be relics of a bygone era, with the need to relearn, adapt, and evolve. The absence of institutional memory would demand a rebuilding of societal structures from scratch, a daunting yet intriguing proposition. From an anthropological perspective, this scenario provides us with a unique thought experiment. It compels us to question the inherent resilience of our social systems and our capacity to rebuild in the face of extreme change. Moving on to technology, we would be confronted with a world where our most advanced devices and systems have long since become obsolete. Infrastructure would have crumbled, data would have corroded, and the digital world as we know it would be a ghost town. Yet, the knowledge embedded in our minds would remain, sparking a technological renaissance fueled by the wisdom of the past and the necessity of the present. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of human innovation. And then there's nature, the great equalizer. In our absence, it would reclaim the earth with forests sprouting in our cities and animals roaming our streets. Our impact on the planet would fade and we'd be presented with a world more wild than we've known for centuries. 
This scenario underscores the power of nature's resilience and the potential for coexistence. The challenges would be manifold, the opportunities boundless. We'd face the task of recreating society, rekindling technology, and renegotiating our relationship with nature. The lessons? They're as varied as they are profound, ranging from the importance of sustainability to the value of community. While this scenario may be a mere flight of fancy, it offers a unique lens to examine our world and the delicate balance between society, technology, and nature.